our Prime Cabinet Secretary, who is also known as Mr. Earthquake. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Kanisa, C.S. Wetu, Elidowalo, and your family, Ma Waziri Ambayo Mefika na Makatibu, na wale wote Ambayo Mefika Sherehe ya Leo Hamjambo. Hamjambo Tena, God is good, and all the time, Asante Nisana. Tumeshukuru sana kufika katika hii bada ya shukurani Tukisherekea ushidi mkubwa wa uyu ndugu wetu Elio Walo Your Excellency, we are here to celebrate The appointment of Elio Walo to your government To assist you in the economic transformation of our republic And to give a, a contribution in the service to humanity and mankind your Excellency, I met Elio Duwalo way back in 1992 and have closely followed his journey and path to leadership. He was a university student then and I was working at Harambe House as one of the people who were assisting President Moy in the management of public policy and the political organization in the country. And Elio Duwalo approached me and said that he wanted to meet President Moy to share with him political strategies of how he could win some votes in this difficult region then as it is now. And uh, Your Excellency, I did organize for Edward Dawalo to have a sitting with President Moy at the Kisum State Lodge then, 1992. And when Muse was there and he listened to Dawalo, he said, young man, you have a great future in leadership. And I'm so happy today that President Moy's word has come to pass, that he is now a cabinet secretary. <laughs> Your Excellency Elio Duaro is one of our most focused cabinet secretaries. He has a passion to serve. He is committed. And he is forward thinking and multitasked. He brings in new blood and fresh impetus in the management of the affairs of our country. And we have no doubt that Elio Duaro and the rest of our members of the cabinet, Your Excellency, we shall help you to deliver your mandate to the people of Kenya. Sisi tumeshukuru sana kufika hapa siaya. Kwa makaribisho ambaye mumetupatia, tulianzia homa bijana, tumekua kisumu, na wengine tulikuwa tukifika hapa, hatukua tunitarajia muta tukaribisha na muna hiyo, tunataka kusema asanti. Rais wetu, hawa watu ya siaya, hata kama haku tupatia kura vile tungependa. Silikuwa kidogo kiasi. Kwa hizo kidogo sisi ni watu ya shukurani, tunasema asanti. Na tunajua pale mbele vile tumeona tukiongea hapa, tunaesa pangana, na tukakuwa tunatebea pamoja, kwa sababu vile governor anauliza, tumepeana vieo hapa anasema tuongeze na mimi najua rais wetu wako hapa mambo yetu wataendelea kuangalia pole pole na vile mmetukaribisha naona amefurahi najua pia makaribisho ni kitu ya maana si ni kitu ya maana na hawa viongozi wetu tumewaambiwa na rais pale tulikuwa mkutano wapate nafasi watembee kwake Watepee kwangu, watembee kwa mawaziri, wasukume mambo ya maendeleo ya siaya. Lakini viongozi, ningetaka tu kuoba nyinyi ya bumoja peke yake. Mukitembea kwangu, na kwa hao mawaziri wetu na mapies, mejua sini ma... Hasula. Tafadhali mupunguze kiingereza Kuporomosha kiingereza Bila kuulizwa na muti yote Nuhuyu speaker wa national assembly Moses Wetangula 
lakini wewe mtu akwenda kutafuta usi, us, usaidisi sasa ukiweka ile kiingereza kali utasikizwa na nani sasa <laughs> kwa hivyo your excellency ningetaka jukue nafasi hii wakaji wa hapa katika counties yetu ya Migori Homa Bay sia ya Kisumu nionyeshe nyinyi viongozi kwa sababu rais anapenda nyinyi hata kama kumpa yeye kura vile alitaka angaje anapenda nyinyi na ameonesha kuja hapa kwanza huyu si sawala huyu sasa unajua sasa hii kazi ya information na ICT ile taka mtu amekula samaki sawa sawa na akili iko hali ya juu Asa rais akiangalia pale mtu yuko akili ya juu akaona imetoka wapi hapa si haya mmefurahia wapi makofi kwa rais wetu kutoka hapo tumeingia mambo ya usalama na utawala ile oburu odinga alikuwa anaita system simulizikia oburu akisema ati mambo ya system sasa rais huyu wetu hata si tulikuwa na shida kidogo wati ya mount kenya na wakale pale ile kiti ambaye ndiyo yenyewe kwa serikali ile andani kabisa ile ya kupanga maneno na kupima na kuweka darubini kuweka kabiru na kuangalia Kenya vile naenda na kukaa na rais karibu anataka atikupeana pande hii kulikuwa na shida kidogo lakini akasema hii watu ya huo nyanza bali tunapitana nao ni kura peke yake mambo ingine wako sawa so kiti ya PS wa interior na national administration ni ya huyu mtoto wenu Raymond Omolo. Kwa hivyo ile system mlikuwa mnalia mnataka imusaidie iko hapa system. Ah bikiri mambo yenu iko sawa sawa. Hii simulilia hii system. Lakini nimwambia huyu James Oregon rafiki yangu. Tulikutana kwa KTN. Akaniuliza sasa hapo mlima hii msa wetu atafaidika? ikamwangalia na huyu James Orengo tumetoka na yeye bali siku tulikuwa tumesukumwa na uhuru Kenyatta kwa UDM tulikuwa pamoja alikuwa wakili yangu nilikuwa nikishikwa anakuja kunitoa mimi ni mtu ya kushika shikwa kutangu samani <laughs> hii uhuru amekuja kunishika ni kitu nimesoea sasa huyu alikuwa anakuja kunitoa lakini pia kwa sababu mimi ni mtu najua maneno narudi kwa mfuko na kupatia kitu Aza mimi nikamwambia Orengo huyu governor. Nikwambia ukweli. Kamwambia mimi mambo ya udaganyifu sisi hatutaki. Na ndio tumesema hatutadaganya hatu William Ruto kwa sababu sisi ni Wakristo. Na sisi watu ya Mount Kenya tulimwaahidi tutaunga yeye mkono. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta anatuambia tukue wadaganyifu. Tuache yule tunajua tulimwaahidi tupatie yule tulikuwa tunapingana na yeye nikamwambia sisi mambo ya uongo hatutaki sasa wewe jimi kwa sababu rafiki yangu wacha nikwambie ukweli ile watu ya mlima Kenya wote wamesarau ni baba ni conman <laughs> watakula pesa yake yote na kumdanganya na hakuna kitu watapata huyo orengo nilimwambia nilifanya mzuri kumwambia ama sikufanya sababu hii maneno ya uongo na udanganyifu ni kitu baya huyu baba wetu huyu agwambo ni mzee ya heshima hata kama tulikuwa tunashidana na yeye apigania amepigania demokrasia Kenya kwa umri ni mzee ni kiongozi ni makosa kubwa sana kuketisha mzee kama huyo chini na kumwaidi kura mnajua hakuna it is wrong na wale wote walidanganya huyu mzee kutoka Mount Kenya ati wamemwekea kura hawatapata amani katika maisha yao it is wrong na hiyo siasa ya udaganyifu tunataka ifike mwisho Mungetaka ifike mwisho siasa utakanyivu? Tuwabiane ukweli. Kwa hivyo pia pale Kisumu tuko na PS ako wapi? Ambaye anaitwa Alfred Kogundo huyu. Ni waziri ni PS wetu wa wa trade and pale kwa uh, uh, wizara ya Moses Kuria. Pia tuko na Robi na Robi River Commission. Tuko na mama wetu Dr. Pamela Olet ako hapa. Tuko na Lake Basin Development Authority.
tuko na Charles Waore tuko pale ako wapi Charles Waore ako area Uja, uja, nataka hawa watu waone nyinyi dio eh, di huyo na nyinyi hawa wamepewa kazi na William Ruto president wetu bila kuangalia mambo ya kura kwa sababu hii Kenya ni yetu, ni yetu sisi so na kuendelea mbele kuendelea mbele kuendelea mbele tukiwa na hawa na wale wengine president wetu ataendelea kuleta nyinyi kwa serikali kwa serikali mkuu ndani 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 na pale mwisho mkitaka ziongezeke tutakuwa na mingi zaidi pia katika ofisi yangu najua watu wengine na huyu governor wetu warengo kwa sababu ni rafiki yangu mimi nakuomba ukiona vijana wananipigia kelele wewe unitetea bwana hapana support hawa unajua hii vijana wanatafuta relevance wadigo kwa magazeti sasa hapa kwa James Orengo huyu governor chief of staff wa ofisi yangu yule ambaye nasimamia mambo yote katika ofisi ya naibu wa rais mwenye kusema bila ye kuweka kidole uwezi fika kwangu bila ye kupitisha uwezi maneno yote tumepatia huyu mtoto wenu anaitwa George Ngonga Makigoe wa hapa game sasa nyinyi mnaona mimi nimeweka ile mtu nimeamini ni mtu ya siaya president bosi yangu ameweka huyu mko mbele ya mko mbele mko mbele kama mfuko ya shati asante kaini chini kwa hivyo mimi nataka niseme mr you are excellency tumefurahi sana na tutafanya kazi na hao viongozi na watu ya siaya na Kenya nzima na sisi mambo ya siasa imeisha kazi yetu ni maendeleo na tutakuja hapa tena na tena mnataka tukuje tena mnataka tukuje tena mtatukaribisha mmetupagia samaki ama hakuna eh iko samaki ama mnataka tulale hapa tulale mimi nilale hapa mutapanga vile nitalala mumepaka na mna gani <laughs> eh oh, asante <laughs> kwa hivyo kwa heshima kubwa tujitahirishe tumkaribishe rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya William Samoe Arap Ruto Mr President thank you aya asante sana bwana Rigiji tafadhali tuketi chini